Hello, this is Sasha from NetworksNews.com at the IDF 2009 in San Francisco. The Intel Developer Forum shows all the latest development, obviously, and the latest netbooks. As you know, I really, really love uh, netbooks. Uh, I think I would even sleep with one netbook, but that crosses the line between men and machines somehow. Um, talking about machines, uh, why don't we look at my favorite devices on this year's show? But you might definitely did some nice upgrades to the former generation of the little MID, uh, which is mainly, uh, when you take a look over here, you have uh, single mouse buttons now next to the display, and you have a nice little optical mouse here, and also on the right side, you can see there's finally a real USB 2.0 connector and a mini VGA out connector. Besides that, um, the system is still running on the Intel Atom Silverthorne um, Z520. That's a 1.33 GHz uh, version. Yumit also told us that they are looking for a 1.6 GHz version of this model. It also should come with uh, 2 GB of RAM and uh, Windows XP Home, uh, not Windows XP Home Premium, but Windows 7 Home Premium, which is definitely a huge advantage in my opinion. Well, again, here's the laptop chart down here with our 62% of the activity. If you move it to a handheld device like a mid, it actually goes up and more of that kind of activity is moving to the sort of handheld space, which is a great place to do the kinds of applications that we want to do on the web. And again, it kind of fits into what you might be doing in your life. So whereas a laptop might be sitting on a desk or a location, the mid you might be something you take with you, and you have even less time, or less continuous time, to kind of engage with it. And so you can pick it up and put it down at more of a drop in my hat. Of course this device wasn't the only one, so why don't we take a look at all the other cool device developments and even software that we've been seeing on the show floor. Um, but let's take a quick look around the system itself. Getting it right in front of the camera. This is an 8.9 inch display, uh, 124 by 600 resolution. Um, on the left side over here we have the mouse buttons. Right, and uh, over here you can just switch on the virtual keyboard. This is not the virtual keyboard that we know from Windows 7, but the one that Arcos integrated into it. So let's switch this off again. On the other side, we have a little optical mouse button, which is pretty cool. Um, let me show you this. Where is the mouse? Here we go. So you can easily navigate with this one. Pretty cool, except especially when you're doing uh, sofa surfing or couch surfing. And besides this, no other connections on the um, right side, nothing at the back. Um, there's a little jack for your headset and a USB 2.0 and the connector for your PSU. You know, one thing I really like over here at the show floor, Intel's just got a bunch of whiteboards that you can see over here on the left side. And the old, old saying, I wanted to gather ideas uh, and innovations from people that were attending IDF. So this one, as you can see, says, what would your kids, kids think is cool? And by the way, that's my comment, watching me on YouTube. Um, I think Intel is you know, really gathering a lot of information, um, a lot of ideas that we might see in future innovations. So, as Shippy already said on our vodcast, you know, Intel is going to make money with our ideas, but hey, I think that's okay. Really cool idea. They are all over the place, like 10 different ones on each floor, and lots of content, lots of ideas, lots of really cool innovation on this. Moblin 2.1. With its tiny Intel Atom chip, Moblin has the power and speed to run multiple applications. This is my zone. 
that brings all your activities together in one dynamic space. Here you can find the latest news, updates from your social networks, as well as catch up on any missed calls, view recently accessed media, and see your upcoming tasks and events. You can also get to your favorite applications from MyZone. For example, you can have instant web access. Moblin is designed for multitasking, so if something else comes up, Moblin's simple zone switcher allows you to flip through your open applications for those unexpected moments you'll want to share with your friends. And did we mention that it's also a phone? The team doing this is the uh, open hand team right? that Intel acquired uh, last year. And it's not that we did the network UI and then shrunk it to this UI. That's right? Right. Yeah. It is network UI is one team. This is another team designed from scratch. Is this going to be all open source like Webin 2? Um, no. So, um, Basically, the Moorstown software stack is a combination of open source pieces and closed source pieces. Examples of open source would be browser, you know, the kernel. Um, this reference UI. Is reference UI, mm -hmm. Conman, mm -hmm. or Connection Manager, right? Examples of closed source pieces would be announcements we made today. Silverlight, Adobe Air, yeah. Flash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Telephony style right. from Open Plan. Mm -hmm. Right. So, Codex. Codex is another good example. Yeah. You know, um, the media framework, so real. So, it's very similar Codex. to Open 2. Very similar yeah, in the way that the open and closed yeah. source are. So, combined. will uh, users be able to get hold of this in a beta version <laughs> and, and test it out on the, the open middle source, platforms, for example? Um, the, open source, um, the open source projects, V2.1 open source as a project, will launch in Q4. So the community. Um, and we should clarify for netbooks and net tops, there's it might be a little confusing, but there's a two dot one refresh coming very soon. Like oh a, nice. And for netbooks and net tops, again the core is shared, yeah. different UI, right? So when Pankaj talks about two dot one for mids, that's a little so, later than what we'll yeah, do. Yeah, because V two point one for mids adds the close source space. Mm -hmm. Right? And the platform support and, and, and all of that. This is Limpus Mobile in V2 Enhanced. Why is it enhanced? Well, if you look at the right-hand side on the, the, the Mobile in M zone, right. it basically has eight squares, all social networks thrown together. Uh, Twitter, MySpace, uh, again, uh, Last.fm. Now, what we've done to make it easier for you to find your information and to give you more information is to make a little tab for each one. Just click over. That's really cool. So you just don't have to leave this uh, yeah. final, uh, th th this this front side or your front page. Mm. You get all the information yeah. right on all on, on the same side. I really like that. Well, and compared to the generic Moblin that you download from Moblin.org, yeah, you know, the, as I say, it has the eight thumbnails together. It doesn't uh, categorize the different social networks. Right. And we also added the webmail module here. That's good. Yeah, I definitely like the webmail uh, module. Mm. Otherwise, at tools and applications level, what we've we done, we've integrated our live update function. Okay. Which is a live update is what we call a robust commercial live update because it can identify your device and, and then send you the right patches and upgrades depending on your device and manufacturer. Right. to kind of give you a run through of the UI. Basically, this is your home screen. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have internet connectivity, so um, we can show you, but basically you'd have your appointments, uh, and in this uh, in this section you could have a to-do list, maybe new emails that you'd get, whatnot. Uh, in this section right here in the middle, uh, you have your recently used media, such as, it could even be web pages as well, that'll be there. Uh, as well here on the side, you would have your Twitter feeds, or RSS yeah, feeds that yeah. would show up on the sides. Here, 
to just kind of move along here, uh, people, uh, as another case, is you would have uh, people in your IM clients uh, moving on. You then have the mobile media player, which is also kind of a big consumer of media, so you can easily view your pictures. Let's see, go. And it's a very nice present, you know, way to present your pictures and, and go around. But one of the key things here is in this demo is uh, you can also uh, categorize them. So you can slip around. This is unfortunately in this demo we only have one category. Yeah. Uh, but we'll just go to images here, and you can then take the different categories, expand oh, them, expand go. them even more, and even grow the size of them to show through. And one of the key things about mobile, though, is unlike UNR or even Windows or uh, a, a Ubuntu desktop, is there's no longer a concept of the taskbar, which is something that people have been used to pretty much since the days of Windows 95. Uh, but now what Moblin has done is they've changed this into Zone. So we'll open up um, a word processor, for instance. Actually, this one, since we've been screwing around, it may do something different. Yes, it will. Let's open up another application here. Um, the dictionary, mm -hmm. for instance. What it'll do is it'll actually, and as you can see here, it's opening it up the dictionary and it's whole, a whole other zone. Right. So you no longer have a concept of taskbars, you have zones. And you can see in this first zone, as I was showing before, it has three applications, but I may not want that in that zone. <coughs> I can drag it into the second zone or open up a whole new zone for it. 